Namaste. This is JBN Dr. Vishal Taksana, Professor in Mathematics sir, in the Faculty of Education and Methodology and uh, in the University Jayuti Vidyapit Movements, University Jaipur. So today I am going to take a lecture on the geometric progression. This module is a part of the course uh, Business Mathematics uh, and under the program of uh, uh, business mathematics uh, under the course of business mathematics uh, and this uh, course is a part of the program uh, BBA and BBA LLB second semester. So geometric progression and uh, like uh, arithmetic progression, harmonic progressions are uh, the part of the mathematics uh, and these are the sequences, progressions uh, and uh, a very these are the very important parts of mathematics uh, because uh, in certain kind of sequences, we have to see what, uh, how can we find the successive terms uh, and uh, the nth term, the sum of the sequence uh, for infinite terms for the uh, a finite number of terms. Uh. So this geometric progression is a, again a very important part uh, and it is different from the arithmetic progression. So how can we define it? What is the geometric progression? First, we have to understand this. Uh, the geometric under uh, geometric progression means uh, this is a sequence of numbers uh, in which each uh, successive term is the multiple of its uh, preceding term and a fixed number or a fixed time means uh, uh, the sequence where the terms are uh, like terms are arranged in that order that uh, the next term is uh, the is a particular multiple of its preceding term or it's the last term and uh, this uh, multiple should be a fixed value fixed number and that is uh, like here we can see uh, this is here uh, for example we can see the, this one series is 3 9 27 81 and so on so in this way the sequence uh, 3 9 27 81 uh, when we observe the sequence, uh, this progression, then uh, we see that uh, there, is a, uh, there is a particular kind of relation between the successive terms. So look at here the first term 3, and then 9, and then 27, and then 81, and then the next term. So uh, just we can uh, here observe that uh, in this sequence, uh, <clears throat> the second term can be obtained by uh, multiply 3 with the first term. The third term 27 is obtained by, can be obtained by uh, multiplying 3 with the second term. And uh, in a similar way, the fourth term 81 can be obtained by the, by the multiplying third term with uh, 3. So 27 is 81. So look at this term here. Uh, means uh, where uh, the next term is uh, a particular multiple means a multiple form uh, with a constant value with a constant number uh, with the preceding number and that is uh, this kind of series is called uh, sequence is called geometric progression. In the arithmetic progression uh, the sequence uh, means uh, where the next term is uh, means where the difference between the two successive terms remains always constant then it is called arithmetic progression. Geometric progression means we can also define in the in a different way, means uh, where the ratio of the successive terms, uh, okay, that is, uh, that remains always constant. So second upon first term means nine upon three is three. Third term by second term is 27 by nine, that is three. The fourth term by third term, 81 by 27 is three. So you can see there the the <clears throat> the ratio for the two consecutive terms, uh, two successive terms, uh, remains always constant. And this kind of sequence is called uh, the geometric progression. Now, you, <coughs> uh, in this way, we can see in this sequence the first term is three, second term is nine, third term is twenty-seven, and the fourth term is eighty-one. So that is called the geometric progression. Now, uh, in this sequence, uh, what will be the next term? 
the next term can be obtained by can be obtained by multiplying 81 with 3 because 3 is uh, the that multiple that is a constant value by which uh, the uh, next term is obtained with the multiplying the previous term so if we multiply 81 by 3 then we will obtain 243 and uh, in this way uh, this kind of sequence this kind of progression can be obtained so here uh, just uh, uh, like one more example we can take uh, 1 4 16 64 so we can see this one again here the first term is 1 the second term is 4 so if you uh, take in this way like second by first term so 4 by 1 the third by the second term 16 by 4 again we will get here it is 4 then fourth term by third term 64 upon 16 that is again coming 4 and in this way all the terms are all the ratios are becoming 4 and this uh, all these ratios are equal these are same and these are like 4 so in this way this kind of series is again a geometric progression so 1 4 16 64 and in this way this sequence is again, again an example of the geometric progression so geometric progression uh, uh, just we will take here the formulas for the geometric progression what kind of formula we can uh, see there first uh, we see uh, if uh, a geometric progression is written by the first term a then second term ar then the third term is ar square next term is uh, like uh, ar cube and then so on so in this way just we see that here the first term is if it is a first term is a next term is ar second next term is ar square then next term is ar cube and so on so this is again uh, an example of uh, the geometric progression and a is uh, here the common the first uh, term a is the first term and r is called uh, the uh, common ratio r is called the common ratio and the nth term in this uh, progression is written by an so the n term a n is equal to a r n minus 1. N term formula. What is n term for the sequence? A r to the power n minus 1. A r to the power n minus 1 shows the n term for this geometric progression. And what is the sum of the first n terms? The sum of the first n terms of the geometric progression is given by a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. It is a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. And uh, <clears throat> it is uh, applicable when r is not equal to 1. And uh, it is sn equal to uh, just not defined when r is equal to 1. So this is when r equal to 1, then uh, it is given by Sn, the sum of n terms is not defined when r equal to 1. And uh, when r is not equal to uh, 1, then Sn equal to a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. Uh, and in this case can also be broken for the two uh, ways here. If r greater than to 1, then it is a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. And when r is less than to 1, when r is less than to 1, then it is defined as the, the sum of n terms is defined as Sn equal to A into 1 minus R to the power N upon 1 minus R. So when R is less than to 1, then A into R A into 1 minus R to the power N upon 1 minus R. That is the sum of the first n terms. And when R, R is greater than to 1, then A into R to the power N minus 1 upon R minus 1. In a geometric progression, if one condition is there, if the common ratio R is less than to 1 in modulus form, means R is lying between minus 1 and plus 1. If R lies between minus 1 and plus 1, uh, then the, the sum of infinite terms of a geometric progression, the sum of the infinite terms of a geometric progression is given by A upon 1 minus r a by 1 minus r that is called the sum of the infinite terms of the geometric series a upon 1 minus r so in this way 
बट दिस इज सम ऑफ इनफाइन टर्म्स इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली व्हेन मॉड्यूलस आर इज लेस देन टू 1 एंड इट मींस व्हेन आर इज लाइंग बिटवीन -1 एंड +1 देन इनफाइन टर्म्स सम कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एंड इट इज गिवन बाय a अपॉन 1 r फॉर द फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स the sum is given by a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 or a into 1 minus r to the power n upon 1 minus r so these are the formulas for the nth term of the geometric sequence so geometric progression and uh, the sum of n terms first n terms of the geometric progression uh, one important thing that uh, the s infinity diverges when r is greater than or equal to 1 in modulus so means uh, when a modulus r is greater than or equal to 1 then this uh, series diverges and uh, the sum cannot be calculated so it is not given by a finite uh, formula it is cannot be uh, defined by a certain form so ultimately uh, the sum of infinite terms can is applicable uh, the, just the for the case uh, when modulus r is less than to 1 now we take one example This example is just uh, for the nth term. We have seen the formula for the nth term. So look at this one. What is the tenth term of the sequence one, three, nine, twenty-seven, and so on? One, three, nine, twenty-seven, and so on. So in this question, the first term is given by one. The second term is three. Means multiple of first term with three. The third term is nine. Again, nine is obtained by three into three. Second term into three. Twenty-seven is obtained by nine into three. Again, so three is a common uh, ratio there, and uh, this series is again a geometric progression. So here the first term a means one, and the common ratio r is given by three. The common ratio r is given by three. Uh, so. Uh, just the given for this given sequence, r is equal to three and a is equal to one. If we have to find uh, the tenth term in this sequence, so first we have to see uh, what is the uh, like uh, what is the here. Just uh, we can see this one as a uh, n term formula. The n term formula is given by uh, a n is equal to a into r to the power n minus one, a into r to the power n minus one. That is. The formula for the nth term, and uh, in this way for the tenth term, uh, what is n there? N means here ten. If we have to find uh, the tenth term, then n should be taken as ten, and uh, now we put the value of n equal to ten in this formula, and uh, again we have to put the other values like uh, a equal to one and r equal to three. So a ten is equal to one into three to the power ten minus one. One into three to the power ten minus one, and then it is equal to three raised to the power nine. So in this way, the tenth term becomes here three to the power nine, and that is the <clears throat> this is the uh, just our common. Uh, this is our tenth term. In a similar way, if we have to find uh, the other terms uh, like uh, tenth, twelfth, eleventh, fifteenth, twentieth term, any number of term we can determine. and this is uh, the method by which we can see the nth term now in the next question we have to find uh, the sum of the first terms of a gp the first term of a, the sum of the first terms of a gp whose first term is 2 and the common difference is 4 uh, there common uh, difference common ratio it should be given by common ratio that is 4 so in this question Uh, there is a gp and the first term is 2 and the common ratio is 4 so in this way a is equal to 2 there in this question a is equal to 2 and r is equal to 4 a is equal to 2 first term and the common ratio r equal to 4 and uh, uh, we have to find the sum of n terms sum of six terms so n should be taken here 6 now we can see this one uh, here just uh, r is greater than to 1 R is equal to four, which is greater than to one. So, what is formula for the S n? So, S n is given by a into r to the power n minus one upon r minus one. That is the formula for the sum of n terms when r greater than to one. 
R is there four, so it is greater than two one. And in this way, substituting the values, so like n is equal to six, so then a is equal to in this question a is equal to we are given that two. Look at just uh, here, a is equal to two, and uh, then r is given that uh, the common ratio is given that four. So just put all these values, and then when we solve it. Uh, so just when we solve it, then S six becomes two into four to the power six minus one A into R to the power n minus one upon R minus one. So R minus one means four minus one. And uh, when we solve it, uh, when we solve this uh, term, then it is becoming here two by three into four zero nine five. So it becomes two into one three six five. And finally, after multiplying this one, two and one three six five, it becomes two thousand seven hundred and thirty. So that is the sum of the first six terms of this GP. So this is the question there, and uh, in this way we can uh, solve the the different other questions for this uh, geometric progression. So geometric progression is a very important part of maths, uh, and uh, in the today's lecture we have just uh, seen. How can we find the nth term of the geometric progression, and how can we find the sum of n terms of the uh, this uh, geometric progression? So just uh, there are certain formulas we have to use these formulas, and uh, first we have to see what kind of series is uh, given. It, if it is a geometric progression, then find uh, apply its formula for the nth term for the sum of n terms, or in a similar way. If uh, in a question, uh, just uh, find the sum of infinite terms. So means that the infinite sum is required. Uh, then first we have to see uh, what is R there. If R is uh, between minus one and plus one, then uh, the sum of infinite terms can be calculated, and it is given by a upon one minus R. A upon one minus R, and in this way just uh, we see that. Uh, So we can find the sum of infinite terms of the geometric progression. But if it is R not between minus one and plus one, means uh, modulus R is uh, here. Uh, modulus R is greater than to one there. Then uh, the see the sequence uh, diverges and uh, the sum of infinite terms cannot be calculated. So this is the part of the geometric progression and uh, This is uh, a very important part. So students are supposed to do the supposed to do practice for these questions. First, they have to understand what is the concept of geometric progression, and uh, then uh, they have to practice for more and more questions. So with this, I am concluding my today's lecture. Thank you.